Welcome to Block 14 of our Celebrating the States Block of the Month. This is our version of the Oklahoma Block, also known as the Oklahoma Twister Block. You will need light, medium, and dark fabrics. From two strips of light fabric that are two and a half inches by the width of fabric, cut four rectangles that are two and a half by six and a half, four rectangles that are two and a half by four and a half, and four squares that are two and a half by two and a half. From a two and a half inch strip of medium fabric, cut four rectangles that are two and a half inches by four and a half inches. From a three inch strip of a medium fabric, cut two squares that are three inches by three inches. From a three inch strip of a dark fabric, cut two squares that are three inches by three inches. From a two and a half inch strip of a dark fabric, cut 12 squares that are two and a half inches by two and a half inches. On the wrong side of the three inch squares, draw a line from corner to corner with a friction pen or a pencil. Place these right sides together with the dark three inch squares, and then you will sew a quarter inch away from that line on both sides of the line. If you don't like drawing the lines, you can also use the diagonal seam tape instead to guide your seams. Once you've sewn on both sides of the line, cut on the line and you should have four units. Press towards the dark fabric. I usually have that on top to make it a little easier to grab and press towards the right one. Once they're pressed, take them to your cutting table and trim these to two and a half inches square. I'm using my two and a half inch block lock ruler. Next, we're gonna be using our four rectangles that are two and a half inches by six and a half inches of the light and four squares of the dark. With right sides together, place the dark square on one end of the rectangle and sew corner to corner as shown. It would be the upper left to corner right. Sew another seam a half inch away from the first seam. Cut in between the lines and you'll get an extra half square triangle to use in another project. If you don't want to do that, you can just trim the seam to a quarter inch and throw away the triangles. I almost always sew these extra seams because it doesn't take that much extra time and I hate throwing away fabric. Someday I'll turn them into an awesome project. Press towards the dark fabric. With right sides together, place a dark square on one end of the rectangles that are two and a half inches by four and a half inches of light and sew corner to corner as shown. If you're enjoying our Black of the Month series celebrating the states, we hope you'll remember to hit the like button and subscribe so that you don't miss any of the videos in this series. If this is the first Celebrating the States video you've seen, check the description below for more info and a link to find more of the videos. Before cutting the extra fabric off for those corners, you want to open that up and make sure you have that triangle facing the correct way. Press towards the dark fabric. We're going to repeat that process with the medium two and a half inch by four and a half inch rectangles and the dark squares.
Before you cut those apart, make sure to double check that the triangle points the right way in the corners because you can always get the seam ripper out and fix it until you've cut it. Press towards the dark fabric. Now we have all of the parts of the block put together so we can start assembling the block. Using quarter inch seam allowances, sew the light two and a half inch squares to the two and a half inch half square triangle blocks as shown. Make sure that the light fabric is next to the dark fabric. This time we're pressing towards the light fabric. Now it's time to add the unit made from the light 2.5 inch by 4.5 inch rectangle to this unit. Make sure you're sewing light fabric to light fabric and dark fabric next to dark. Press towards the light rectangle unit. Next we add the unit made with the medium 2.5 inch by 4.5 inch rectangle. Since we've been pressing to the dark, these corner seams should nest. Make sure that you're sewing medium fabric to medium fabric. Once this unit is pressed, it should measure four and a half inches by six and a half inches. This time we are pressing towards the medium fabric. Lastly, we need to sew the two and a half inch by six and a half inch light rectangle unit to the side of this unit. Once pressed, these units should measure six and a half inches by six and a half inches. You want to press these towards the light rectangle. These four parts of the block, six and a half by six and a half inch blocks, should be identical. The triangles in the center should form a little pinwheel. Sew two units together to make half blocks. The corner where it makes the pinwheel, those seams should nest together and then there's no other seams to match because it's just a long rectangle. Press both of the half blocks the same way. I'm pressing towards that light rectangle. One last seam and this block is finished. I'm just going to press this last seam to one of the sides. You could press it open if you prefer. This block should measure 12 and a half inches by 12 and a half inches and will finish 12 inches by 12 inches in the quilt. 
I also tested this black with a dark blue as the dark and the red as the medium and then kind of had a fun little dot as the light. While this block is fresh in my memory, I am going to press those extra half square triangle units that I made from the leftovers that I might have thrown away. And I'm also going to trim them down to a size so that they're all the same and I don't have to trim them later. Just get it done now. I recently had a lovely visit with Beverly DeWeird from Pipestone, Minnesota, who stopped in with her blocks that she's been working on for our Celebrating the States Block of the Month. She is cleverly adding an outline of the shape of the state to each block and is using a quilt as you go method so she can finish it faster when all the blocks are done. She's keeping her finished blocks safe in this special box she made using cardboard and fabric. A very special thanks to Beverly for sharing her blocks with us and letting me take pictures. Thank you so much. We hope you remembered to hit the like button, leave us a comment, share with your quilting friends, and subscribe so you can see all the future celebrating the state blocks. Thanks for watching and happy quilting!